Um, so there is a recording in progress, Travis. Hi. Uh, <laughs> hey. Hi, everybody. Hi. Um, so I just want to first, I just want to get this message off of my screen that none of you can see. Got what does it. it say? Oh, it was just telling me recordings in progress, leave meeting, got it. You know what it is. You know. Oh, right. All the Zoom. Stuff. Yeah, all the Zoom stuff. So we are not sponsored by Zoom, but we do record on Zoom. We do um, record on anybody Zoom. Anybody who cares. You guys in- can have a podcast, too. <laughs> anybody can. Anyone and- can have a podcast and they can all fail because every celebrity has one as well. I know. But you know what? I'm, I'm I don't resigned. care about it. I'm, I'm resigned to the the indiness of it all. I think it makes Me us too. a little more special. I like the undiness of it all. Yeah, the undiness. Where... Speaking of undies, how do you feel about Charlie XCX and oh. Billy Eilish's <gasps> video? I I like the video. Love it? I love it. I, I love like the... the song too. I'm not. I gonna don't. Lie. I you don't, don't? Love the song. Yeah, I think oh the song gosh, is. Oh my gosh! I'm shocked. Stupid and dumb. And I think, <laughs> I think they're just laughing their, their way all the way to the bank, which is great for them. John, and I love that song. I'm like, this is like the perfect you, amount of filth. Like, it's all, it's, it's not my favorite. That's okay. That's okay. Because you know what is also really terrible? <laughs> yeah. For any of you out there who are living, laughing, and loving Katy Perry right now, Ugh. you can have a seat. Uh, this is Mean Girls Interrupted, by the way, and we're in the Mean Girls portion. Of- we're in the Mean Girls portion of it. Uh, this is a movie review and recap podcast, but we are going to talk about some things because, hey, yeah. it's been a few weeks since we've been here, since Maxine. We're so sorry. And so much has happened. So much has happened. There's been some health things. Um, I'm going to be completely honest. I've had some things, and that's fine because life throws things at you and whenever life throws things at you 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 try to dodge them but you can't (laughs) you can't dodge all of them and sometimes they they hit you in the face and they knock you down to the ground i'd rather have life throw things than monkeys throwing shit i mean i did see a video of a girl uh irritating a monkey the other day online (laughs) and the monkey was so mad and it threw shit at her and the parents just were cracking up at the daughter I mean, I'm like, be, you get what you get. Yeah, I would be. I You can't fuck with monkeys. No. You know, you when can't. are we going to learn our lessons? We you just you know what? I hope she learned her lesson. Yeah. I mean, Planet of the Apes is a prophecy movie. And right. It will come true. They're not going to be throwing doo doo in your mouth. They will yeah. be throwing spears at your neck. Yeah. So, so when, <laughs> whenever the, the monkey uprising does happen and it will happen uh like what side of history do you do you want to be on do you want to be the ones who antagonize zoo monkeys yeah or do you want to be the one that works cared? for the monkeys i will and work for them i will be the monkey the top monkeys assistant. uncle oh assistant. <laughs> okay <laughs> uncle assistant so you won't be a monkey's uncle i'll be the executive be assistant <laughs> To top monkey. To top monkey. Yes. To top I love monkey. That. And it's gonna be <laughs> what about um, bottom monkey? Uh bottom monkey, not really interested in her. No, I no. get it. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. I'm all about top monkey. Yeah, no flop monkeys here, everyone. No flop monkeys here. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah, but sometimes we flop monkey, sometimes we top monkey. Uh, speaking of flop monkey, uh, John and I were <laughs> going to do the episode, an episode uh, for Abigail. We decided um, not to for so obvious just, reasons, if you have seen it. So since we are talking about movies, Abigail, in my opinion, IMO was yeah. a total flop monkey. Um, it was, I would say, Travis, it was. Um, John, out of 10, out of 10, out of, Okay. Out of 10 dance sequences where smoke is coming off of your body, what would you give Abigail? We're just going to do a quick. I mean, I would give it like. I would give it a seven in terms of, oh, like on paper in the elevator pitch at a studio. It's like, oh, green like this right away. We got it. I was wondering how it got green lit. I think it's like the the pitch of it all. Like if we just. I bare bones concept of it they're like oh let's just let's just get this done in two minutes and then they're like oh but it all falls apart 
and the, it's all actually really dumb and crazy because we probably got into this way too fast. Do you know how many times I was like, is this movie going to end yet? It went. It kept it went, ending. Uh, it went a Do you know how many times it ended? <clears throat> yeah. It just... In my head, I was like, okay, it's over. Now, <laughs> why is the dad here? And the girl's like, you, uh, Abigail was like, you were never there for me. By the way, everyone, Abigail's a vampire. You saw that in the commercials. The whole yeah. movie is her She's dealing with. She's hundreds of years old. And she has abandonment issues. Like, get yeah. over it. Like, she's, uh, like, involved in this intricate crime organization that vampires run, apparently. John, the loosest plot, though. I know, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Lucy so, uh, Goosey. Lucy Goosey, um, Gary Busey. Well, out of Busey. 10, Lucy Goosey, Gary Busey. I would, have, I would have given this a 10 if Gary Busey popped up in the end and was like, hi. I would have loved it if not, not only did he pop up in the end, he pops up in the corner and it's like yeah. Mortal Kombat and he's like, toasty. And yeah. then he leaves. Or everybody, like somebody's like really distracted by something off camera and they're just like, keep looking at it. Like, yeah. And then, and everybody's then it's Gary like, Busey. Everybody's like, what are you, what are you looking at? Why aren't you listening to me? And then everybody's just like, follows the gaze and it's just Gary Busey in a corner. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, oh, and then they roll their eyes. And, and that's the end of the movie. <laughs> and that's, that's the how the movie, movie ends. Yeah. I remember they lost. I'm giving that movie a four. Yeah, no, four is a very appropriate. I'm going to um, give it a four because, it, you know what? I actually didn't mind the cast. I thought the cast was quite okay. Except I mean, for the God, one. Gosh darn, gosh darn that. Sorry, but gosh darn. I'm going to swear. Gosh darn. <laughs> John, that, you know how I feel about swearing. <laughs> yeah. That that GD ending climactic fight sequence where it's just literally the the most repetitive mm-hmm. fighting of yeah. like like she's on his back, she's getting thrown down to the ground. She's on his back, getting thrown down to the ground. Get um, being tossed around over there, getting impaled with the thing over here, jumping onto a back, getting thrown down to the ground forever. Uh, Can I tell you? I felt like I was know, in hell. You want to know it's <laughs> oh, you were in hell. Yeah. Watching that movie is hell. Um, this is so crazy because this is the second time this has happened to me now watching a movie. When she, he first throws her, whatever whatever his name is, what's his name? Fred, Frank. It's Frank. It could be whatever you want. It's it Frank. Because be. I remember thinking, Frank. The only Frank I knew was a crossing guard and he was super cool. And this Frank was an (laughs) asshole. So when Frank throws her on the ground after he gets turned into a vampire and he keeps tossing her around in my head, right before she said it, I'm like, why do they do this in movies? Why don't they just kill the person? The home girl throwing in slow motion. Home girl goes stuff. Right. She goes, why don't you just kill me? And I was like, my thoughts. Exactly. Let's get it over with. Yeah, and then he proceeded to throw her every chance he could get instead until of he was her. until he was killed, which was his own demise. It's like, why are you playing with your food? Yeah, and also like we're just like, why are the minutes just racking up on this movie? They really were like, this yeah. has to be the most. Yeah, it, like, it was land of the plane. So no to Abigail, everyone. You go no watch to it if Abigail. You want. Yes to Abigail Breslin. Yes, to Abigail Breslin. We stan Abigail Breslin and this But no movie to Abigail is, this movie. <laughs> yeah. Abigail, this movie is a stain on the name Abigail. It's not good. And so our condolences to Abigail Breslin. You will live it down and see light again. Was Abigail <laughs> Breslin in this? No, but I'm just I'm just mad that this is associated with the name Abigail. Yeah, because yeah. Abigail Breslin probably could have made this a little better, but not really. Only if she were 10. But you want to know what's so weird, though, is who is the guy that looks just like Elon Musk in there? Oh, right, right, right. Puffy Elon Musk. What's his name? Yeah, yeah. Um, I forgot, but I remember meeting him once. You did? Yeah, he was at, um, why can't I? Oh, crap. Why can't I think of it? Anyways, but he was a... He was in the the show Swamp Thing, so whenever I was working on the the special effects, um, he was in there. That's not coming out, is it? Uh, oh, it came and went, honey. What? Girl, okay. where did it go? Uh, yeah, uh, fully canceled before the first season was released. Are you? It was How? a full, it was a it was a rated R 
Um, so this is like the precursor to, to, to HBO Max, which is now Max. Yeah. Was DC Universe. It's a oh. standalone channel. No. Uh, it was a, a very small little blip, a little speck of sand in the beach of streaming wars. I'm and so the, not sad about this. Yeah. And it was like, a, it was actually a full hard R amazing horror show idea. And it was all practical effects, really, really cool stuff. And then they bastardized it and they, they took this light gently used one season show and made it appropriate for the cw and aired it there that's where it went yeah so the hard r went all the way away it's craziness yuck also i used to have a swamp thing action figure so when you told me this was happening it was a cool show i liked it i was so excited when i i was like oh and then yeah i didn't realize that it came and went just I happened to catch it whenever it did air on did you DC, get penicillin DC for it? Universe. Yeah, <laughs> I caught it. On you DC, caught it. DC Universe gave it to me. Yeah, and they're always giving it to people. Yeah. Dick and then they call universe. you and they're like, oh, by the way, my doctor told me I had to call you and let you know, like you caught yeah, it. I could I could have not said anything, but in uh, in all. Um, but you're a good person. So you did. Yeah. Yeah, you know, there's no there's no shame in just letting people know what may or may not be in their body. Right. Also, the police forced your hand. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, so, yeah, it was cool. Anyway, uh, we're talking about twisters today. <laughs> you guys, we're talking about twisters with everyone's new favorite, Glenn Powell. Also, Daisy Edgar Jones. And we get a little bit of Kiernan Shipka. We get um, a tiny little kiss of uh, Kiernan Shipka. Shipka. <laughs> Yeah, before she's shipka. yeah, before she ship good off to heaven. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who knows? She could still be alive out there somewhere. No, I highly doubt it. What if her spin her well, not her spin off, spin-off, spin-off, <laughs> her twists off into her own little show where she wakes up in like in fucking Florida somewhere. She was flung all the way to Florida. She wakes up in a, uh, from a, out of a coma 20 years later and has amnesia. And she thinks she's in the Wizard of Oz. And, and it's her <laughs> navigating the Florida Everglades. I live. Yes. yes okay, I love work. that. And instead of a cowardly lion, a tin man, and a, a, a whatever, a scarecrow. It's, it it's a rusty is, old car. Uh-huh. There is, there's definitely an al- a crocodile. Is it a crocodile? A crocodile, and uh, the third one is Florida Man himself. Florida Man. Florida Man is the, <laughs> the cowardly lion. <laughs> right, right, right. Got it, got it. Uh, who has or the... is he the scarecrow? Probably the scarecrow. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah. the Florida Man is a scarecrow. Um, yeah, and he rusty... only wants a name. He just wants a name. The rusty car is a tin man. Yeah. So yeah. full of rust. It rusty. does talk, though. It's, it's Herbie the Left Bug. Rusty car and, like... <laughs> And a crocodile that has been obliterated by a fan boat blade. <laughs> right, 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 right. Yeah, of, of course. So um, I do like that spinoff for Kieran and Shipka. Yeah. And yeah, it's going to be called a Shimka and the... Uh, <laughs> yep, yep, yep. <laughs> that's it. And the yep, yep, yep. So that's what the it yep, is. Yep, Instead yep. of the yeah, yeah, yes, you know? Yeah, the yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Uh, Twisters <laughs> does star Glenn Powell and Daisy Edgar Jones. Gorgeous, gorgeous casting. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and this is uh, directed by Lee Isaac Chung, who directed the, uh, the Oscar-winning Minari. Did you ever watch Minari? I didn't. It's a very prestigious movie. And I don't know if it won the Palm d'Or at Cannes, but it is full on prestige level. No, so it's quite funny that his next his next movie should be Twisters. But the overlap worked well, in my opinion. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, <clears throat> this movie. Yeah, I don't want to get into any of it. We'll get into the thick of it all at the end, okay. but we'll get to it. Cool. And this also has Anthony Ramos uh, as Javi, who uh, plays like a, a quasi love interest. I, I guess. Don't, you want to know what's <clears throat> weird about this movie? Uh, yeah. But also, I kind of loved this. 
it's fully saw, desexualized. There's nothing in it where it's like we have to ca- we it's like there's yeah. no Mac in it. There's one kiss in the beginning and it's a peck on the lips. It's like a bye, hon. There's um, nothing and- in this movie that's like it has to be sexual. There it nothing. It's just about yeah. tornadoes, like which is cool to me. The first one was a love story. Was it was it about Remember, um, like, the divorce, like, will oh, they, won't they get back together? Yeah, 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 yeah. The Helen Hunt of it all. Yeah, the main catalyst was, like, divorce papers need to be signed, but also and there's tornadoes. Right, so, that is how the tornado was created. Right, right, divorce papers. Divorce papers. They threw them into the air, and nature was like, tornado. <laughs> yeah. And <laughs> this, this a bitch also, cyclone. <laughs> this also has Brandon Perea from uh, Nope fame. Oh, he plays yes. Like, plays like the unhinged uh, dude who screams twins. That's, oh, that's his thing. Yes. That's, movie. that's his thing. His thing is twins. <laughs> <laughs> and then a whole bunch of other people and, and extra. There's so many back, people, but let's not actors. forget, everyone. We cannot forget Katie M. O'Brien. Girl, get into <laughs> it. Katie M. O'Brien was in Love Lies Bleeding. She oh yeah, 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 that's right. She she's has like amazing. two lines in this movie. <laughs> we love her. She had more than that, but they didn't give her enough time. She needed she, more time. She probably has her own storyline that ended up on the cutting room floor somewhere. I'm sure. Probably, which is unfortunate because I really love her. Yeah, she's um, amazing. A she has Crohn's disease. Crohn's disease. She had to have uh she had to have surgery shortly after filming Love Lies Bleeding because she oh. has Crohn's disease. Also, for any of you um gay L's out there, that's um lesbians. So uh who we love, she is married, she is taken, so you cannot have her unless right. they're into that. You can look but not touch unless she wants you to. Nope, she already hitched a ride on somebody else's you haul motherfucker. So <laughs> Uh, yeah, we do. We do stand a lesbian queen. This is a gay uh, podcast. Just FYI. We will, we like to tell you all in the beginning. Yeah, right. So if the F slur comes out of our mouths, don't get alarmed. And don't come for us because <laughs> we are we can say it if we, we want can to. Say it. Um, uh, so yeah. yeah. How much yeah. does this movie cost? And then let's get into it. Oh, the movie itself. Uh, this definitely did cost one hundred and fifty-five million dollars. Where yeah. for who, they had to pay all them damn tornadoes or what? Yeah, all the tornadoes they unionized and they were they like did, they unionized. I get it. Like we get residuals too, and uh, as the, they should. So in America alone, it grows two hundred and twenty-five million dollars. John, this and, is supposed to be a standalone sequel, and I do truly believe this will get a sequel of its own. Oh, uh, yeah. What do you think they're going to call it? Now that we got Twister and Twisters. Twist her, bitch. Twist hers, bitch. <laughs> and it's like uh, the cast of RuPaul's yeah, Drag it's, Race. It's RuPaul's Drag It's just wigs. <laughs> the wigs are a tornado. It's a tornado. They are, they are in the WoW studios, and tornadoes <laughs> break out. Yes, yes, They're yes, in the yes, middle yes. of filming a RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars, All-Winners season, and yep. Twisters break out in the studio. Yep. Uh-huh. And then like it's a hair loaf. And then what's her face is, is like, just... I'm not joking, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What who said that? Was it Jasmine Masters? Yes, Jasmine. Jasmine Masters. You know what I think about frequently? Huh. Is if it would be a funny gag if Jasmine Masters was like back on the show for whatever reason, like another contestant, another season, whatever, in some context. And she and she took the I'm not joking bitch and was like she acted like she was choking on something and then she, <laughs> afterwards she was like I'm not choking bitch <laughs> John that would make Rue laugh so hard so hard and it'd be funny if it was like like a sketch they were doing or like you know how they do like the fun little yes. sketches and then like one of the bits is like she's like in a restaurant and starts choking on something and then like yeah she, and then somebody gives her the Heimlich maneuver and then like the piece of food goes so flying across the room, this is uh-huh. downfire style. Yeah, yeah. Lands on someone's plate. They're like, oh my God, are you okay? And then she's like, I'm not choking, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I would love that. Okay, me too. We need to make it happen. Okay, let's. 
Um, okay. Oh yeah, we're gonna <laughs> episodes over, guys. We're gonna go make this happen. Yeah, sorry about it. You'll thank us later. You will. Um. So yeah, Travis, what happens here in this old okay. Twister movie? So <laughs> we haven't done this in a while. So excuse us if we're a little bit rusty, but it begins like this. It begins with Daisy Edgar Jones giving her. Uh, na- uh we'll get to it. Giving yeah. her boyfriend at the a moment, <laughs> not a blowjob, but close. A soft a peck on the lips, a twister. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. That's when you put both of your hands together on the base of the shaft and you twist it, twist it, twist it until it like lights a fire. Like you're trying to make fire. <laughs> no, it has to light a fire. Oh, right. Right. So that's what a twister is called. <laughs> yeah. um, so she gives him a twister and she's like, okay, babe, we have to go find some tornadoes. And um, so, so they get out of the van and they go look for some tornadoes with Kiernan Shipka, someone else, someone else, and then a guy in a van. And yes, who's following them? Who is following them for nefarious reasons? Yeah, that's not I, true. Actually, I made that up. And he is a friend of Dorothy, who he, they had to bring back the contraption. They did. They, they brought just, Dorothy back. They brought Dorothy back. Which and I don't, I don't really understand why. It didn't go anywhere from here, but no, they didn't use it. They only like we got to like, collect all the data. That's right. He's a data collector. He's a and data collector. He's a bone collector. Right. He's like, he's I'm collecting collect all the bones. Tornado bones. <laughs> yeah. What are you, what are you collecting? Bones? <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm sorry. Why did it just sound like a donkey braying? Because <laughs> it's fucking hilarious. <laughs> so they go collect some data <laughs> yeah. on a tornado, but not before every single person minus Daisy Edgar Jones and the other one gets sucked up into a tornado in the cleanest possible fashion like they were they were sucked up into that tornado honey i shrunk the kids style like whenever whenever the lawnmower goes over them and they all get like sucked up yes 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 that is how it was i didn't even put that together but they almost like they almost human centipeded that was a reference you know it was they were like honey i shrunk the kids um, so <laughs> everyone except for Daisy Edgar Jones and her friend uh, yeah. die. Yeah. And, she... and then we cut to five years later. And guess right. what? Everyone, Daisy Edgar Jones. She works she... for the news now. And guess what? She's no longer in Oklahoma. Uh-uh. She's not in Kansas anymore. She's not in Kansas. She's not in that tornado. She valley. is not in the Midwest and she is not a Midwest princess girl. She, she is in the streets of New York and she is just working it She's out. She's like, fuck this destruction <clears throat> and all of these fields of nothingness. Yep. I got to go live my life making bank at the weather channel. So she's making money. And then some stupid intern comes up and it's like, Hey, Biebs, uh, somebody's in your office for you. And she's like, okay, who could it possibly be? And she walks in and it's a ghost from her past, guys. Yeah, her her really recent past that we saw like her, two minutes ago. Yeah, her five years ago past is back to haunt her. And, and he, is is looking, he is looking great in a fitted polo and tight jeans. Do you think so? And tight chinos, by the way. I thought he looked better with his long hair and a little grungy because when he oh, came back oh, with oh. his haircut, I was like, ugh. Yeah, but that guy's got body. But he also has, I like his freckles a lot. Freckles and body, it's all his you need. His blue eyes, too. You know what? Can I take it back? George. Okay, George I can take it back. You know what? It's fine. Anyway, yeah. we're not over here to judge people's appearances. We're here to judge their performances. <laughs> so, anyway, yeah. these two are yucking it up in the office. And Mr. Friend is like, hey, Daisy, um... <laughs> So, wait, wait, uh, hold on. Just yeah. have to set the stage though, because oh. they do go out to get coffee in like a weird science lab of a coffee shop. It, yeah, it was so weird. I was so distracted by the the many different like yeah. glass carafes. Yeah, there was a ton of those in there. I was oh, like, what's going on here? Oh, it's okay. Oh, tired, oh. baby girl. No, yeah, 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 yeah. These days, all I want to do is sleep. Uh, yeah. Um. Do you guys get it? You all understand. Yeah. Um, so, so they're in a coffee shop and Daisy Edgar Jones and homeboy is like, is sitting there across from homie. And what's his name in this movie? Don't know. Which one? Um, uh, blue eyed, blue eyed stranger. Uh, blue eyed, freckled tailed. Um, this guy's name in the movie yeah. is Javi. Okay, so Javi is like Kate, and that's Daisy Edgar Jones' name, just so you all know. Like so, the most 
every person it's the most the ev- i didn't even need you to tell me because i remember kate. kate it's just it's the every person's name so yeah javi is like hi kate i know you've been out of this for a long time and yes our friends did die a horrible death while you were while we were all chasing right. a whole tornado but guess what i need you to help me help other people wink right. wink um because no one can do it like you can no you can- have a match a near magical ability to chase tornadoes and track them down she is she is chasing tornadoes not pavement she's over the pavement y'all she is chasing tornadoes now so (laughs) javi's like kate will you come back to oklahoma with me we have to go find some tornadoes and she's like no absolutely not absolutely not shan't do it however i will go like on like a reconnaissance mission with you and like just like feel it out for like a couple of days yeah. And it took her no time. So first she says no. Then she goes home and is woken up by a train. I'm pretty sure she lives in Queens. Um, Queens. Or she's in Astoria. Queens. She, she's <laughs> definitely in Queens. So she's in Queens and a train wakes her up and she's like, you know what? You don't get to hear her say this, but the next thing you know, she's on a plane to Oklahoma. So that train yeah. sent her packing. So she uh, she rides a tornado all the way back to Oklahoma. <laughs> she's certainly does she wrangles a tornado and she's like i'm going to oklahoma yeah and she's like i'm here uh just call me johnny appleseed but right uh, cross out the johnny and make it kate appleseed and there she is so kate yeah. appleseed is now in oklahoma and javi is t- javi's there and he's like yeah okay so this is my crew they're great let me introduce you he's like hi everyone you've heard me talk about kate kate's amazing she can oh sniff. right a part of this crew a part of this crew is going to be the uh the new superman can you guess oh. who it's going to be a part of this crew is going to be the new superman um it's definitely going to be the guy who screams twins no no not him oh he's going to be the one that gets super mad yeah the one's like pull the car over yeah, he's like, you pulled a car over right now. I'm really tall. Wait, pretty is good, he, he's going to be Superman? Yeah, and guess where he... I bet you I'm going to... Um, he looks going, like he belongs on Veep. Yes, but I'm going to get... I am going to make you gooped and gagged. Oh, and gooped and gagged. Flabbergasted. Because if we're talking about the same person, it's a tall guy. Yeah. Handsome. Yeah. And is always mad about something. Oh, yes. He's just angry. Angry all the time. Yeah. And uh, he is the projectorist from projectionist from Pearl. What? He is? Mm -hmm. I am gooped and gagged. I didn't realize that. Good for him. Okay. Now that we know that, I'm I'm rooting for him. Yeah. He met met an ill demise. uh, He he really did. I didn't realize that was him. That's him. He's going to be the new Superman. Good for him. I like that. Yeah. Although Henry Cavill really does it for me, but that's neither here. Those days are over. They're gone. That's okay. So back to Twister. So Kate gets introduced to the new Superman and the rest of the gang. (laughs) And then at this point, we're like, okay, well, the only reason why I started this movie was because Glenn Powell's in it. So where is he? And then he shows up in a truck. Gaggles of people following. People are like, oh my God, YouTube personality. Yeah, and he I thought is. they did a pretty good channel, though, for like a fake YouTube channel. I thought they did OK. John, I would watch that if that were a real channel. So for yeah. backstory, they have their own YouTube channel where they chase tornadoes. And boy, oh, boy, are they some redneck motherfuckers. It's like, oh, that, John, that they are follows pl- their whole caravan. <laughs> The entire time. <laughs> they're plucking those banjo strings so hard. And they're like, woohoo, yeehaw. Burr, 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 burr. They are a rowdy crew. Yep. So and they, they show lay it on up. pretty thick. Oh, they lay it on so thick, John. But those accents, not very thick for coming from Arkansas. Give me a break. Yeah. Um, it's like, my name is Glenn Powell and I am from Arkansas. Right. He sounds you like you can call me news. Tyler, my character's name. Yeah. Call me Tyler. Tyler. But you have to put an agent <laughs> at Tyler. Hour. So, but yeah. they have no accent. So now we have, <laughs> Kate, so we have Kate's crew who is searching for tornadoes and we have Tyler's crew searching for tornadoes. And you're and like, they are rival tornado searchers. They are. They're so, right off the bat. Don't like it. So Tyler sees Kate and starts taking a liking to her. And he's like, oh my gosh. So what tornadoes are you looking for? She was like, I'm going to go for that one over there. And, and boy, she's so sly. 
She's so funny, so, too. She's like Kate. so funny. There's no Kate. way, Kate. <laughs> so Kate tricks Tyler, but Tyler's like, no, bitch, I know this. So he follows the caravan and they reach their first tornado. This is where we get to see the second tornado in the movie, but all of their first tornado. Yeah, yeah. All of them together. First tornado all together. This first one. This and, caravan of tornado hunting hunting yeah. hunters. And like, so Kate's whole thing is like, I'm going to be like tornado whisperer and like tell you how to finagle your little science machines because they're basically going to do the equivalent of the a creepy uh, body scan from uh, the TSA at the airport. Yes. But two doing... tornadoes. And tornadoes did not consent. And tornadoes are like, um, no, thank you. You can, you can rub your little wands all over me, but I am not going to get my, my whole naked body scanned. I, I am going to twist much. out of this airport, bitch. <laughs> yeah, I was like, whoop. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, it's, and boy, is it uh, sway, swerving this way and that way, just trying to do its own little tornado. John, it is thing. shaking its hips. Them hips don't lie, girl, that tornado. <laughs> yeah, that tornado is like, my hips don't lie because my name is Shakira. Yes, and I've got a date with all of these windmills. Yes. And so it had that date with the windmills and it was like, well, we won't be doing this again. And yeah. so um, what happens is, so Kate gets scared of the tornado, but Tyler's crew, which is Glenn Powell, is not scared of the tornado. And him, yeah. him and his crew roll right into the eye of tornado and they shoot some fireworks up into that bitch. And it looks pretty cool. I got it. Honestly, say. cinematically, I was like, work. Bitch. That was the fanciest tornado I ever said. I said, work diva. I was like, somebody, this is going to completely influence somebody to drive into a tornado and put fireworks into it. John, do you know? I, I want to do like, that. Right. I was like, there is a hillbilly out there that does not care about living. They care about only about having fun. <laughs> because... Glenn Powell is the top of the zeitgeist currently today. He is going to make someone throw firecrackers into a tornado. Yeah, some <laughs> five-year-old kid who just watched Twisters is going to be like, we're doing this today. And they're going to be black cats, so it's not even going to be the same effect. Yeah, but yeah, little do they know they need to get really illegal fireworks to do that. And also get very far away from that tornado. So anyway, that scene's really cool. It's so over the top, but I lived for it. Yeah, so. even like the peril of like the the decapitated uh, wind uh, windmills yeah. and stuff like that. I was like, they weren't even scared. The VFX budget, so good. They did a good job. So yeah. So now we get to see Tyler's all for chasing tornadoes and having fun. And the other team is like, we're all about business yeah. and taking advantage oh, of people oh. whose lives are ruined. Yes, true. However, we got to talk about the people. Which people? The people that they always need oh, to help. Right. They right, need right, to help right. the people. Right, Travis, John. Uh, every what if God time, was one of us, just a uh, slob like one of us? You know what I mean? Just a tornado chaser named <laughs> Kate like one of us. <laughs> <laughs> every turn, it always comes back to the people. They're like, oh my God, this tornado went through a town. We have to go see what's up. But we have to go help the people and only refer to them as the people. It's very self-serving. <laughs> yeah, it's the, the people. And whenever... Okay, so we see Kate handing some books to some people. After a tornado. This tornado yes. they chased went and ruined a town, and now Kate now and them are like, we have, have to go. to help the people. So after they go have their fun, <laughs> they're like, now we can go out. <laughs> and yeah, so now we can go help. We're going to help the people. And then she's like really judgmentally like, oh, what are those fucking YouTubers all doing about to play just uploading some stupid video, not even helping the people? And then she looks over, and guess what? They're helping the people. John, what a twist. Der, er. the, <laughs> They're helping the people. Yeah. And twister. the money they make from their merch is all Goes for food and supplies to help for the, the people. people. We didn't and know they were philanthropi philanthropists. Sorry, a, that a, word. A, that, philanthropizers. Yes. They were philanthropizing. They were the philanthropizing with their eyes. <laughs> yeah. Smize, and, everyone. Uh, she learns this in the best way, the most cinematic way possible, which is from uh, 
uh, the dreadlocks. Of the, oh yes, dreadlocks. She, she's like, she's like, hey, here, do you want like a here's some fruit or something? It's like, are you staying hydrated, Kate? Like very friendly and not competitive whatsoever. She actually was so nice. I was, was like, very I really sincere. like her, and I was like, whoa, how refreshing. And Kate's like. She's like, yeah, cool. So, um, do I owe you like any money or something like that for like, uh, for like your merchant stuff? How much you selling that stuff for? And she's like, oh yeah, probably like a hundred dollars or something. But that's okay because it all goes back to the people. And then yeah. she like she bounces away, and Kate's like, I think my perspective on these people are is changing. It's a bit skewed. Yeah, I think I may have misjudged them. Yeah, especially so, Tyler. Right, especially Tyler. Don't you ever misjudge Mr. Glenn Powell. So yeah. Kate goes to her room where she's sulking and she's looking up who the people she's working with are now, Javi and his group. And she finds out yeah. that this group is only collecting data so that they can figure out how to hustle ruined land from people who have just lost everything to her tornado. Yeah. And she's like, I... It turns out working for a developer... A developer with Cor- nefarious means who uh, looked insurance. sort of like bill murray at the beginning i was like oh that's murray? true no he sort of not. did but it wasn't yeah but bill murray is all but canceled yeah is he i mean i think he has like a reputation of being not so nice i mean i think he probably is a total dick but like i mean yeah this hollywood it makes sense yeah I um, so out. kate is like call it starts to call into question What side does she want to be on? And then she gets a knock on the door and guess who it is, John? It's pizza. Is it Tyler? No, it's pizza. (laughs) It's just just pizza. So pizza's at the door and she's like, oh my God, pepperoni, how did you find me? So, but it's actually just (laughs) Tyler. I mean, when she opened it up and it was like, just just pizza. She's just like kind of upset about it (laughs) because they have a past. She's like, shouldn't you be Tyler? It's just like pepperoni. She's like, you should, I told you when I got I never to find me. Like, I don't know. Never to anyway. never to look for me again. Yeah. And she's so mad at pepperoni. But then she's like, you know what, pepperoni? I know we've got history and I know it's a little yeah. icy back there. Yeah. Why don't you come on in first? She's like, let me have a bite of your stuffed crust. My gold time. Yeah. So, so she takes that pepperoni takes pizza it. to bed. <laughs> and that's the movie. So Tyler's there and he's like, hey, I don't want you sulking in your room. Go stuff your face and let's go to the rodeo. Yeah. So they go to a rodeo. (laughs) They go to this rodeo and he's like, hey, city girl. And she's like, you keep calling me that. But you know what? I grew up like two hours from here. And he's like, oh, my goodness. So when was your first tornado? Everyone remembers their first, John. Remember? Remember how everyone remembers their first? I remember my first tornado. Me, me too. And Where was your first tornado? In a shower. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, so like, <laughs> how old were you whenever you first got your first tornado? My first tornado oh, was probably like 18 and a half. I had just left my parents' house yeah. and it happened in a shower. <laughs> <laughs> and that's where my first tornado happened. Yeah, many tornadoes to come. Yes, but we all remember our first. We all remember our first. So they're sitting there talking about their first tornado, and guess what? <laughs> what? <laughs> they get interrupted by another tornado. tornado. These oh tornadoes just keep popping up out of nowhere, John. They're just—I like, mean, it hey. is like I. You know what? This is for me. This is they up until this point in the movie, they have laid it on extra thick that this is like the most tornado y tornado season of all history of tornado reasons, which may or may not be due to climate change. They didn't outright say it, but they have said, you know what? We've been noticing a lot more. Yeah. They were playing um, both sides, right wing, left wing, middle wing. They John, were they just, were very, you no, know, <laughs> this were, was very just like this movie was gray in terms of like there was uh, politics. <laughs> there was nothing they politically dodged, charged. They dodged all all the bullets throughout they really the entire did. movie. It was impressive, it was, actually. I was, was like, you could see it happening in real time. <laughs> where it's like, oh, we're gonna go left, or we're gonna go right. Oh, they we're went nowhere. Right down the they said, you know what? We're not taking any turns. This is girl. tornado alley, and alleys are notoriously straight down. Yeah, there. and we're not touching any curves uh-huh. or turns. No, no, no. So another <laughs> tornado does show up, <laughs> and. Does. So they're at a hotel, they run to the hotel and they're like, hurry, we have to save these people. And there's two people in there. They're like, there's no tornado. 
<laughs> there's not a tornado. And guess what, John? They there's a tornado. By a tornado. <laughs> a fucking tornado. So a cyclone and then there's sucks a knock up at the two door, of these and they're hookers. Like, oh, who's there? They're like, pizza delivery. And then they're like, oh, the pizza's here. And they open up the door, and it's tornado. And, torna- and tornado's there. He's like, psych, it's just me. And he takes them away. <laughs> so Kate and their friends, the ones who listened to warnings, got yeah. away safely. <laughs> they're like, this isn't the biggest tornado event season of the season. Yeah, so they're like, at this point, they're like, oh, or my gosh, we oh, really gosh. have. We shouldn't have had a rodeo tonight. We shouldn't have had a rodeo. And also, this is getting crazy. We have to fix this tornado situation. We got to we gotta blow up all the tornadoes. So at this point, this tornado has wrecked this town, wrecked this rodeo, and wrecked all the fun and so now that everyone's mad lives yes it's wrecking the peoples so so now i want to keep calling him quasi and his name is not quasi it's javi. Javi. so javi is there and so is his boss and they are now trying to figure out how they can scoop up this land and kate has had enough she was like the lives are ruined it's literally midnight you guys are monsters and she steals his truck and drives to her mom's house two she and a half hours two away two and a half hours away in the and John, I would never live in Tornado Alley, but her Uh mom's house and property was so gorgeous that I questioned how Mm. much I could handle. Uh, It was her mom's property. I thought it was beautiful. And I've been to Oklahoma, girl. Oklahoma is stunning. She's she's stunning. It's actually so pretty. Oklahoma is so pretty. Oklahoma, those rolling fields. The perfect towar for tornadoes and violence. Right. And, but it's, it's gorgeous. It really is. I would never live there, but good for you guys. If you live in Oklahoma and you're listening here and a tornado is happening outside, congrats. Yeah. Um, Also, Kamala is brat. (laughs) Kamala is brat. Uh, It is official. Um, But anyway, uh, so her mom is played by Moira Tierney. Not Moira, not Moira Rose. It's more tyranny. Uh, she is from the 90s. She is. And she's also eating up the scenery. And I'm also like, okay, I know, I know I have to suspend my disbelief and everybody's perfect in this movie. But damn, girl, where do you get all them CCs for that face? John, in the middle of Oklahoma. Oh my gosh. Can I tell you right now? I had a doctor's appointment today and you want to know what? They were advertising Juvederm on a little thing. And I was like, Ooh. $10 of $10. And it's so rampant now. And I was yeah. like, gosh, am I getting Juvederm it's, while it's also not, getting it physical? It's not just for celebrities anymore. It is for everyone shopping at the cost. Like one hand on my balls and a needle in my forehead. (laughs) Yes, please. I'm getting a physical and my wrinkles removed. I'm like, just put them in my balls too. I'm like, are we having intercourse? (laughs) Um, Because this is better than sex. Yeah, this is amazing. (laughs) uh, um, I feel like yeah, you know what? You just you just prove you mean you just answered my question. It's like you can get it anywhere because you know anywhere. where I live in the middle of nowhere. It's it's everywhere. I mean, I am in a suburb, but no joke. My doctor yeah. is right up the street from me. No, I'm not joking. Yeah. I could walk there. Yeah, so and that's me. Walk. That's me and my my woke ass judging that's- the majority of America's as podunk children. Oh, that's okay, John. Judge away. That's what we do here. Yeah. I'm just I am part of the problem. No, 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 no. No, you're not. And you have no, to- I can own it. I can own it. Okay. And I accept that. And that's how we grow. And well, the next time you see me, John, I'll yeah. be unrecognized. I will look like a <laughs> twister just crawled across my you're face. Gonna go to your, you're going to go to your doctor, your primary care physician, and you're going to get the Moira Tierney. I'm getting the Moira Tierney. I'm going to be like, I need it to look like there is a F5 tornado behind me and my face is just so snatched. snatched. I need it to be pulled all the way back. I am, I am, I am stuck in the middle of two F5 tornadoes and my skin is just stretched to my skeleton. Like there's not a wrinkle to yeah. be seen. No. So, and that is Monday. I have labs on Monday. So, this coming Monday, I have some blood work coming up. And I'm probably going to be like, hey, girl. So, since we are doing the needle thing, just go ahead. Can you just get a little dip dip right in the middle? I've got a couple right here. I did. I did see um, what could may or may not be uh, fake news on on the YouTube. If you're to get 
a little Botox in your forehead. You can't just do the one little area. Oh, I know. You have to do the whole thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. not even fake news. They have to do it. Real news. So it's going to cost me a little bit more than $10. Because I know like, it's more than that, but that's You're okay. going to look like this. Oh, I know. That's hot, huh? Isn't that so weird? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so back so to ducking. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, back to duck and tornadoes. Somebody must we have thrown are... something at those lips because they are ducking. <laughs> Hold on, if you can, if you can hear me blink twice, my headphones fell out. Um, <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, Moira Tierney looking great. Uh, no, she looked really good. I know. It's like how is she the mother of? Daisy Edgar Jones. <laughs> um, she just is. And also looking like that, she is not. She is. She has like no help on that farm. John, it, okay. I was <laughs> that too. I'm like, so you know, pristine. she's out here. I'm like that yard. That yard was cut. <laughs> It was crisp. It was clean. So she like comes in from like wrangling the horses. She just like takes off some perfectly clean gloves and she looks flawless. And she's just like, dinner's right. ready. And then yeah, it's like this amazing, gorgeous spread that looks just, like Thomas Kincaid in the garden. Right. With like twinkling lights and like, and Stockerazzi Tyler who followed right. Daisy uh, Edgar Daisy Jones. Edgar Jones. He followed her to her mom's house and her mom's like, he can stay. And she was like, um, I don't think so. And her mom's like, no, he's like, staying. No, he's staying in the guest house. So oh, he stays separate. and they have lunch <laughs> and they're like, you know what? We need to figure out how to make tornadoes take a nap. <laughs> So, make it rhyme, but it didn't no, 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 no. <laughs> I, I actually have no idea. Wish more tornado. Uh, those those tornadoes go to sleepos. Oh yes, they do. So they, they turn those tornadoes into uh, turn tomatoes. Down the benzos. Yeah, yeah, benzos. I could use a oh, benzo. Benz oh, yeah, benzos. Turn they them to tornado. To Give them tornadoes. All the benzos. It doesn't really work, but we're working on it, everyone. Yeah. It's so, we're workshopping. So tornado benzos, it turns out, are the things that are inside diapers, the ones that actually <laughs> soak up all of the moisture. So the plan now is there's so many tornadoes, we have to make these bitches go to sleep. And the science, the science jargon expositional dump that we get goes on for so long that I'm just like, I'm like, oh yeah, whatever. Uh, oh, John, cool. I, at that, I, I was it. like, you know what? I understand completely. Let's do you it. You had me at diaper absorbent material. Yes, you had oh, me I at have to say. Yep, diaper spheres. So I was here for it. It's crazy enough to work. <clears throat> and it is crazy enough to work. So speaking of work, these two bitches get to work and they're like, okay, let's go. So there's like this weird montage of them enjoying each other's company for what seems like, <laughs> I don't know, maybe three months, but it's only 24 hours. It's like hours. 24 hours. Yeah. <laughs> so there's a montage. A lifetime of experience. It's a lifetime of love and fun. Yeah. And could they get together soon? Could they or couldn't they? We oh, don't know, but uh, I suspect. It might happen. So what happens now is they've had a montage of time of time that has uh, prolapsed and <laughs> <laughs> we're calling it prolapsing. So some time has prolapsed and they are like, let's go catch us a tornado. So that's what they intend to do. Let's go slap a diaper on this tornado. <laughs> right. Cause it is shitting all over Oklahoma. <clears throat> so they, so what they do is they see this tornado coming and they're like, oh my gosh, this bitch is big. This is a big bitch. She ain't missing no meals. And, and we love, the, we love a curvy girl. We love a so, curvy queen. So a cur that curvy queen was like, I'm about to hit this town. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And boy, oh boy, am I going to move at a glacial pace? So you better <laughs> hurry. <laughs> And they're like, oh my God. I'll give you a head start. How about 10 hours? So <laughs> they're like, it's a date. Because so they have to go save them people. They're like, we have to go save the people. And this is when Javi is like, I have to ditch this team of dirty jerks. Yeah. Because Javi's story is still happening somehow, even yeah. though it's like, whatever. It becomes a side story. Yeah. He's like, so, I, I, I have, he has at some point along the way internalized feelings. I don't know Kate. where that came from. And it's a little bit of a curveball uh, up uh, in wherever it takes place in the movie. But right. Because he does say, like, I would have done anything for you at one point. And she's like, okay. She's like, great. 
Cool. <laughs> Come on. Like, that's so amazing for you. Uh, sorry about that. I do love how she's like, and? Yeah. She's like, I answer to no man. I, I was not into tornadoes. You. Oh. Yes. I only answer and Tyler. Yeah. Also, I'm still betrothed to that dead guy. Yeah, for some um, reason. So, um, anyway, so they, there is a beautiful main street in the middle of America. It is Fair. middle of America. It's a very American. It looks it's, so American. It really it's does. So it's clean. It's pristine. The they laid it there, on thick. Yeah, the people there have all of their teeth, and uh, the obesity rate. That's the rate, only fictional thing about this movie. The obesity rate has not touched this part of Oklahoma, which is also crazy because you know everything's fried there. Yeah, like you are at a fair in the middle of Main Street, Oklahoma. There will be fried Twinkies. There will be blood. Yeah. And, and I, fried I, Twinkies. And there's no tea, no shade to to heaviness and enjoying no. your life and being. It, but this is such a glossy Hallmark portrait of yeah. Main Street America that I was like, oh, yeah. What are you doing? Who's that? Who's that one painter? His name escapes me right now. Um, Thomas Kincaid. No, not Thomas Kincaid. Um, I already did that one. Norman Rockwell. That, it's a very Norman, Norman Rock- fucking Rockwell. It's giving Norman Rockwell. Um, uh, what I would have enjoyed is a bunch of people in flip flops and tank tops with farmers tans walking out of a Walmart. Save those oh. people. Yes. 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 Yeah. yes. We're talking about real people and stuff yeah real people <laughs> so they're here to save real people real people so they get to this theater. town full of real people <laughs> and they scoop them all up and put them in a movie theater for some reason or other yeah it's like that's the that's the only structure that we can do and also it's gonna stay into this like crazy this crazy meta experience which is crazy because the can i just tell you right now yeah i saw those kids run into a gym mm. and that gym was empty. Why didn't they put them into the gym where the basketball court was instead of put them yeah. into a rickety single Because Kate movie and Tyler theater. know better. The Do you remember is when during... Safford only had one theater? Yeah. I saw Star Wars episode yeah. one there at yeah. that single theater. And it was just theater. like it. If we got stuck in that theater, we would have been sucked out. All of the bricks would yeah. have dropped on us. Yeah. Star I Wars mean, Episode 1, freaking Jar Jar Binks Death would have been on the screen as we died. And that would have been really sad. <laughs> that would have sucked. Maybe this was a, an homage to the drive-in theater in the first Twister. It could have been. Because they kind but, of did that with like the, the rodeo thing. But Right, 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 yeah. right. But... And I liked how they had The Shining playing on the tornado. That was so cool. John, As a kid, watching that, I was like, that's amazing. See, you know what? They have some cool. So, okay. There, we'll get to it. We're going to get to it. Okay, cool. cool. <clears throat> so, Frankenstein is playing on this one, which is <laughs> also wild. Frankenstein's on this one. I'm not really understanding why. Oh, Maybe Giant which, Monster. Oh, 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 I'm, having, I'm having a Raven Simone moment. Are you? Um, what are you saying? Okay, I'm seeing Frankenstein. Me eating hot fries later. Yes. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> and also Frankenstein playing on this movie. This movie is a Universal and Warner Brothers release. Frankenstein is intellectual property. Oh, and it's coming out. And it's coming out starring none other than Mia Goth. Mama Mia, who plays yes. Maxine and Pearl, who the projectionist uh, is. is in <gasps> Pearl and is in this movie, which also features a projection of some kind. John, oh this, my is, this isn't your this, best work oh, yet. I mean, you can just draw a line right through all these hoes. John, you totally did it. So this tornado is like, all right, girls, I'm here. I finally <laughs> made it. So I'm going to start ripping this. Like, hey, guys, what are you guys, what are you guys <laughs> running to? No, you want to know what's crazy? This tornado was like, hi, so I saw you guys on the stories. And I remember asking you if you guys wanted to do something earlier today. And you told me no. But um, I, it turns out you guys were uh, out to brunch. So and I'm, I'm mad. Here, and also, I am knocking over water towers that are falling onto Glenn Powell's leg. 
Yeah. I'm sorry. Oh, the tornado is like that this innocent, bumbling weirdo that walks into a busy party and like knocking stuff over and like right. so clumsy and be like, oh my yes. gosh, I'm so sorry. They've just had like a yeah. smidge too much to drink. They're so yeah. fun though. They're so fun. So everyone always invites well. them. They mean well. <laughs> they mean they're just doing what they do naturally. Yeah. So this tornado means well, but also yeah. she's like, you're in my way. Yeah. And so, um, <laughs> and so Daisy Edgar Jones, like, I don't think so. I've got a lot of diaper material that we spent a lot of money and three dead lives on so yeah. i'm gonna go and try to take this tornado out yeah so she so, gets in the 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 tyler wagon yeah tyler she does get in the pussy wagon yeah so she <laughs> the does bussy wagon. the bussy wagon so she gets in the <laughs> bussy wagon and she drives straight for that what looks like an f5 everyone we're seeing i an do f5. believe it is an f5 on the radar an EFF five, like fuck, it's big. Yeah. It, so, it kind of just like grows exponentially out of nowhere, and we're like, "Damn, bitch!" Yeah, she really it's like, was. It's it like was a reveal. like a. It, what, John? I was just gonna say that. You know me too well. <laughs> she revealed jiving. to be bigger than she was. Yeah. So she's picking up steam, and so is the bussy wagon. So Daisy <laughs> after Jones gets to that tornado, and she's like, "Miss, we're so sorry." She's like, "Sorry, flop." Yeah, <laughs> she said sorry flop and so what she does is she projectile vomits um not her the truck the truck projectile vomits diaper beads diaper yeah diaper stuff diaper beads up into the air and for some reason for some reason tornadoes are tor okay diaper beads to tornadoes are water to the wicked witch of the west which also yeah. involves tornadoes also kryptonite to superman the future it's kryptonite. superman who was in this movie so uh, for any of you who do encounter a tornado just throw a couple diapers in it you You'll need be to fine. go go to your nearest costco and you will scoop all them be diapers fine you'll be um, okay <laughs> Yes. Or, or take a bunch of those little beads from the um, jerky bags. When you guys go buy your Jack links, take yes. those little beads out for moisture and just throw Chuck them. a handful of that at the tornado just and, like, yeah, just, and then just no. keep on living your life. Yeah. Blow kisses out the tornado. Yeah. While you're doing it <laughs> because that corn tornado is uh, sayonara. Yeah. Just be like, I, what do you want on your epitaph, bitch? Yeah. So what happens now right. is, People are just about to get sucked out of this, sucked out of this. They are getting movie theater. They are, they are once again holding about on to for die. dear life. They are honey. I shrunk the kids in it once more. One more time. One yeah. more. Sorry, intellectual property. I can't sing that. Daft Punk. Yeah. And um, uh, Glenn Powell's like, oh no, don't friends, don't die. And then no friends, not me. The F5 just like dissipates into thin air. Yes. And it and then guess what, everybody? Happy freaking ending. And when happy I mean happy ending, ending, I mean Daisy Edgar Jones gets into the <laughs> bussy wagon with Tyler and oh, gives yeah. him a happy ending. And he get, gets a tornado right there in the cabin. He um, gets but a not twister. He a twister like he's her. never had. He well, he, he cries because it's for her. Yes, because he's so enamored by her. He's like, I'm so glad you're okay. And they haven't even kissed, which I love. The vulnerability of a leading man. Right. That so so refreshing. So it refreshing. Was. So basically the movie ends with Glenn Powell, Quasimodo, Javi Moto, sorry. <laughs> so Javi Moto <laughs> and Glenn Powell and Kate, who is Daisy Edgar Jones, yeah. all joining together to be like. We are now tornado vigilantes. We are going to kill every tornado. They are tornado avengers. They are tornado you know. avengers. She does have like a weird leather camera strappy thing that makes and her look also like a superhero. Like a, also, she's like developing a weird, like large cyst on her neck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that she should get she ends up out. talking and yes. she becomes like her sidekick it's in a so way. crazy but only she can hear it talk <laughs> yep and she's the only one who can see it too <laughs> yeah and then but glenn powell he also makes out with it he does make uh, out with it um and then there's like this weird three-way relationship he gives and, it tongue and we're like ew yeah and then javi's like that's disgusting yeah let's um not. and then the movie ends yep and um there's a lot of country music that follows i um, did download the twisters album just you so you know only because there were a couple songs i really loved on there and one of them is um 
let me just pull this up so I don't forget the name. For any of you out there who do like country music, I fuck with it a little bit, just a tiny tad. I'm not into country all the time, but there is Beyonce, some. Beyonce has made everybody into country music. Oh no, I was into it before. I'm so sorry. I hate oh. to be that person. Oh no, you were, but I'm saying everybody else who wasn't is mm-hmm. now. It, the door has been open a wide. Your the you're door welcome has- country. You're welcome country because Beyonce did do that thing for you. Yeah. Um, so there was two songs that I really loved and it was out of Oklahoma by Lainey Wilson. That song's so good. So if you guys is like it the one country, that plays in the, in her house, it plays in her house. Right. It's like, she's going home. She's like, Oklahoma yes. Oklahoma girls going home always. Nope. Not that one. Okay. It's, it's actually, no, it's better than that one. <laughs> uh, and then ain't in Kansas anymore by Miranda Lambert, which is also really good and if you know Miranda Lambert she's the problematic I don't think so I haven't heard anything problematic about her the okay. la- I mean as far as I know just making sure I wasn't sure I don't know you guys I'm so sorry if she is I didn't hear I've heard nothing about Miranda but I think she's just like a normal like whiskey drinking smoking country girl who used to be married to what's his face the one that's huh. married to um Gwen Stefani's um oh who's married to Rosdale? no oh no she's she's married to the country guy now yes Blake shelton Blake shelton so miranda lambert used to be married to him and they're oh, divorced yeah. so i would say nice. she's now less problematic oh that sucks so miranda lambert yeah miranda lambert she hasn't, she hasn't been canceled has she i'm gonna check it out right now i have to know okay anyway if she hasn't been listen to that song also jelly rolls really good jelly rolls getting popularity he's been gelling jelly rolling through the scene Um, but so but there's a good song on there by jelly roll if you guys like country the twisters album actually has some pretty good songs on there but i don't know how many of these people are gross and terrible oh yeah so miranda lambert's good she's fine okay yeah 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 so those songs but anyway Movie's over. Those songs are good. There's a lot of country music in it. Unlike Twister, the original one, which was all rock music. So they did kind of keep a theme here. Yeah. Um, um, but how did you feel about this movie overall? So overall, um, I'm, do we want to do a Rose and Thorn or no? Yeah, well, I'm not going to do a Rose and Thorn because. Oh, okay. You know what? Yeah, my Rose. OK, my Rose is this movie's this movie is a summer movie. My rose is that it knew exactly what it was. Yeah. And it didn't try to be anything else. Also, just to jump on that little rose petal, little, it's a dew drop on the rose petal. I love that there was no love interest. Like there was no, we have to yeah. say, it wasn't like, it wasn't goopy or like a rom com with they don't, they don't kiss. They never kiss. There's no kissing. It's actually cool. Tyler and Kate. Never kiss once. Not plus eight. Uh, no, they are not plus eight. They're they're plus. They're no minus. Kisses. They're plus they're, and zero kisses. Yeah, there there's no kissing involved, so sexuality is still up in the air. And my thorn, <laughs> I would say, yeah, 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 true fingers crossed. I'm telling you what. So thorn is the thorn is that um, Glenn Powell's sexuality is still up in the air, and that's great for me. And that's my thorn for this movie. yeah well um, well i mean i i love to wishful think you know me i you know what he's just, he's probably straight let's not even go ahead you know what but you never know that's true he probably is but you know what he looked good in this movie that's also a rose he looked good yeah in this movie. i mean those wranglers be wrangling them cheeks not telling you what <laughs> right <laughs> right also also, yeah. wet white T-shirt contest. I was just gonna say when he was leaving, when he was leaving, um, you know how Moira's intentional house? that was. You know so how intentional, intentional that was. So I mean, intentional. The uh, my the first thought in my head whenever that happened because he walks out into like whenever the rain torrential to downpour. Yeah, and he goes from dry white shirt to sopping wet. Um, shirt and it like was giving seconds. notebook it was notebook so, for sure it was ryan gosling notebook level tits out everything it was you good. could ever imagine so um what's so, your rose and thorn but, but my thought with that that whole scene oh. was like like every single take 
he had to go right back in that house and they probably had like dry white hundred white <laughs> white t-shirts because he had to go from dry to wet every single take oh definitely that's so funny to me that would be so annoying and you know they probably have they have them laugh like because they they know the only point of that sequence was was to have to white t-shirt yeah for them to sexualize him instead of a woman this time which i'm oh, here for do it get it you better work bench and they did so what's your rose and thorn um my rose is the same as yours basically it's like yeah i enjoyed this movie because it not only was it nostalgic but it was also not trying to make itself more than what it's supposed to be also it felt original and it's ticking all the the boxes of what this movie should be Every step of the way, it was kind of like an A plus paper and what a summer movie should be. Right. I'm and telling you, like, like even to it was so specific, even down to not going too far right, not too far left, because they could have been like full on country they Fox could. News channel or they could have been like, oh, subvert that by being totally woke left left wingers or whatever. But they saw all these little time they like they were walking on eggshells it was so middle <laughs> was, of the road this movie was so middle of the road and i loved it because guess what yeah. i didn't have to think about anything other than yeah who's gonna dive in this tornado yeah i was like uh, also um oh so my my thorn of it all would be is really specific and really small but it's the superpowerness of it i knew it which was <laughs> i knew it there's i also really was like scene. i was like how's <laughs> There's this little cheesy moments where she's like, it's like right before the first twister after the the incident. Yes, and after she's like, the incident. and she like she pick up like some grass or like a like she picks up like a crushed uh, it's a, a dandelion it dandelion head, and she like crushes it in her hands and she like lets the little fibers go, and it's like this whole superhero moment. Yeah of her like gauging where uh, the shot was like crazy it was crazy and also fantasy also tyler rolls up and he's like yeah i remember when i used to do that too (laughs) yeah it's like so where's the tornado gonna be (laughs) and then wouldn't that be fucking hilarious of glenn powell we know he can do accents we know he can and he didn't he was so (laughs) (laughs) he had his own he's from texas right so he is from texas but he he had that very vanilla not heavy at all. I think he would grow up in Austin, though. So doesn't he just sound normal? Like, I shouldn't yeah. say normal, but like as far as like an, a baseline He's not American like some accent. He's backwoods, like, uh, no. Bayou. He's, I was just going to say he's not a Bayou baddie. He but is. that would be so funny if he showed up with that accent. That would have been hilarious. And like missing teeth. Right. He's so. like, bear, 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 bear. right. Um, yeah, that would be basically it. But I think this movie was pretty entertaining i left the theater and i was like i was like oh this is like i I don't feel one way or the other about it i feel it's a fun movie it's just a fun movie yeah we got in there we got out now it's time to go get some dinner right and you don't have to think anything i I enjoy i don't feel cheated out of a ticket nope and i rented this on the tv because it's you guys can rent it now if you want i didn't make it to theaters unfortunately i wanted to but things were happening so I didn't think I could make it in a theater, mm. um, you know, but anyway, I did rent it and me and Redacted watched it and we both afterwards were like, was, pretty was good. that movie good? And we're like, yeah, that movie was pretty good. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> like for what it set out to do, it, it achieves it in a really yeah. interesting way. And I think that has a lot to do with the director being like this prestige director. I mean, he, yeah, this was, was a good like, vessel for somebody who already won an Oscar. I'm like, okay, but you made a movie yeah. that could have potentially been total hot garbage. Right. And if something they had that like was some just kind of fun an ego. Summer. Yeah. If they had like an ego, like, oh, I won like an Oscar or these, all these accolades, it needs to have like an indie spin to it. It's like, no, it doesn't. This is a popcorn movie. This it's is a popcorn good. movie. It sells its own soundtrack within it. Yeah, it does it, all the things. It, the soundtrack worked for me. I was like, I have to download the soundtrack. I need yeah. some of these songs. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
funny. That'd be funny if like Beyonce is like, ain't no teach. You know what? I do kind of wish that they would have <laughs> threw a Beyonce song in here. Yeah, Beyonce. They had every She must have been approached. She must have been approached. Because did, did are is every single one of these songs original to this movie? Because there are yeah, songs in so. here where I'm like, I was listening to it and I'm like, did they make these all for this? Because it's very storm related. I think they it's might very, have. Miranda Lambert's song is like, basically, she is a tornado. She makes reference of ruined um, trailer parks. Um, all of these different, she makes reference to Dorothy not being in Kansas anymore. Dorothy was the little thing from yeah. the original Twister. I'm like, every single one of these songs yeah. feels like it was they made. They definitely had original songs, for sure. It's and Which I think is also lends itself to this movie. It's, the and that's why franchise I say, is, is rebooted. That's why I say it has been felt original. It is alive. It felt original, even though it's a standalone sequel. Yeah. Like, I'm ready. Bring on another one. Like yeah. this, I'm cool. I'm I'm ready for it. It did, it did all the things. And you know, if we don't get another Twister movie, that's also fine by me. We it's probably not like will. It's, it's not like I'm gonna miss it, but it's no, also, but I will watch it. Out, I'll watch it. And it's that's like exactly... Jurassic Park. Do we need another? No, but I still watch them. <laughs> <laughs> but we still but bad feelings often follow those although those the movies. last jurassic park was garbage bugs trash really? it bugs. was not good yeah. i'm so sorry for any of you who loved that last installment that I'm sorry thing, for you it should have been canned yeah um but whatever chris pratt makes money so good for him um so travis out can i ask you out of 10 yeah okay so out of 10 um, cold, wet, uh, oh, flecks yeah. of mud to the face, yeah, uh, would you would you give this? I would give that. I'm not even going to. This is going to sound so crazy, you guys. I'm going to give this movie like a nine. nine. I'm serious. <laughs> I'm going to give it a nine because for me, it was like. I know we already did the rose and thorn. Yeah. I'm not even going to go into it. I give this movie a no, nine. We, I get nine. it. I get it. And there's no shame in a nine for Twister. Nine for me. It was so fun. Look, because I honestly can't really say anything negative about this movie either. I, as much as I want, I'm not giving it a 10, but it yeah. is a nine. Like, I recommend it. So out of 10. Yeah. So, John, out of 10. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> out of 10, um, out of 10 diva tornadoes, um, <laughs> who, who are just adorned in the most beautiful fireworks. What would you give this? I would give this movie, you know, just because I was like, I left there being like, okay, work, get it. Yeah. I would say that would be like a seven, like a, a, a positive seven all the way. Oh, there we go. I, you know what? Like, positive seven's good. Yeah, positive sevens. Uh, Were you expecting a nine from me? No, I was not. You weren't. Oh, okay. No, I wasn't at all. But uh, but I can see it because it's like you can't if like if this thing were like if this movie were being presented uh, as like a performance in the Olympics. Oh, you can't you can't dock points off of whatever it was doing because it hit all marks. It hit every single mark. They have original score. They yeah. have, they literally spent so much money to make this like just a movie you can sit and think nothing about. Yeah, you go, you escape. Sometimes that's all I want. There's some peril. The The effects are, the are, effects good. are good. It's ominous where it needs to be. And sir, sure, you get cheesy and ridiculous a lot of the times, but which I mean, give me it's Twister. Never, it's never Twister was so cheesy. Yeah, yeah, exactly, and we're, that's what we're doing. And but it's never out of place. You know what I mean? If I want your opinion, I'll give it to you. Yeah. Do you remember that in Twister at the end? It's like literally at the <laughs> end, right before those guys in the truck get sucked up in the first yeah. Twister. If I want your opinion, I'll give it to you. Yeah, and then that... his friend gets uh, impaled by that metal thing. And then they both get sucked <laughs> up into the Twister. Fun. Fun times. But it's also, so cheesy. And also their endless quest for the people. John, their endless Cheese quest. Ball. I loved it. But it at gives, the same, it, 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 never, it doesn't feel awful and bad like abigail uh, did no oh my god abigail yeah. was trash that that is what abigail was so bad so, uh, yeah, so not, i think there's just i think there's a solid respectable art form for this style of blockbuster yeah 
And even if it wasn't a reboot, it, this can exist in this way. And it, this was a perfect iteration of, of this yummy, feel-good esca- escapism Hollywood blockbuster summer fair. John, this is what I want movies to do again. Why yeah. can't movies do this again? I was missing a, a Helen Hunt cameo. I want to know where that bitch is. I actually really was thinking. I was like, is this, is this hooker going to pop her head up? She didn't. But she never did. I wonder what the story behind that is. She probably They probably didn't even approach her. They were like, no. Like, sorry, Helen. They had to have standalone. The only thing we got out of this was Dorothy. And girl, we do live for Dorothy here. Yeah. So The legacy of Dorothy. But with that being said, everyone, that's mm-hmm. the movie. John gave it a seven. I gave it a nine. You might hate it. You might love it. Yeah. Tell us what you think. And in the uh, comments down below, wherever you're getting this podcast, go into the comments or something. Send us a letter. Um, I guess Spotify can do comments now. You know what you guys can do? Just write us a letter, put a random address on it. And there's a a seven billion. There's one in seven billion (laughs) chance. Yeah, no, you know what you need to find us. You know what you need to do? You need to (laughs) write what you write your comment on a little tiny piece of paper, a little strip of paper, roll it up in a little thing and then seal it with a little bit of wax. And then give it to the nearest. Tie patient. it to tie it to a vulture. Yeah, because all the vultures know where to find us. The vultures know where to find because John and I smell like dead animals. We smell yeah. like carry on, and they are always at our door. <laughs> yeah, they always think we're about to die. It's kind of crazy. Carry on, April. Who uh, carry? Uh, you can't carry shit on this. <laughs> so, <laughs> so guys, if you feel like it, follow us. Great re- review, subscribe, do whatever you got to do, and don't yeah. do that if you don't want to. We don't care, but we're glad you're here, and we hope you enjoyed this episode that has taken yeah. us very long to do. And uh, we won't <laughs> apologize for that because you know what, life happens, and you get this shit for free. And we're an indie little podcast, so we're not we're not beholden to anyone but us and you. And right. in the good Lord Jesus. But if you, yes, in the good Lord Jesus. <laughs> so if you'd like to send us some money that we can give to Jesus. So we can and, give it to the people. To the people. You need it. All proceeds go to the people. Yes. Uh, and we're people. And we are people. We're so people all proceeds too. go to us people. Um, and with, I guess, oh, I'm going to, you know what, John, I'm going to sign us out. And I guess we're going to see you at the movies. Oh, God. Uh, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Uh, well, um, Roll the credits, you uh, Daisy Edgar Jones crawling out of the uh, uh, the the bussy wagon. Yeah, and there he did it. They did landed it. All right, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye.